এবারে শেয়ারিং টাই কোথায় হারিয়ে গেছে শেয়ারিং টাই দেখতে আই নো দিস আর নো ইউ প্লিজ ক্লিক অন দা ফাইল আই অ্যাম ওয়ান্ট টু গেট ইন টু গেট আউট অফ দা আ ওকে আই হ্যাভ ডান আই হ্যাভ ক্লিকড অন দা ফাইল মাই ফাইল ইজ ওপেন ইন দা ক্রোম অ্যাকচুয়ালি এন্ড আই ক্যান ডা আই থিং ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে ঠিক আছে ওয়ান মোর থিং আই ডাউনলোড ইট अगेन এন্ড সি stop sharing we will do desktop download ki liya maine i done that and i will now if it is gone out of your screen then you can tell me ha huh? yes data madam now uh, it is gone out of your see, screen yeah yes bas bas theek hai theek hai theek so will you please just uh, वेलकम एवरी वन टू टूडेज वुमेन्स डे सेलिब्रेशन Uh, we have with us uh, shrimati smita s mure from brc and she will be speaking on uh, a nuclear spin off for societal and rural applications akruti program uh, before i introduce the speaker i would like to invite our uh, director sir uh, dr sumit song to say a few words sir you are muted please unmute yourself okay sorry 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 madam thank you boys and uh, good afternoon dr smita a shule my colleagues ladies and gentlemen in continuation with the celebration of international women's day held on 8 march we are very pleased to have dr shule head akruti technology section brc who has kindly consented to deliver a lecture on nuclear spin offs for societal and rural applications akruti program and silage concept through this online mode so let's listen from uh, dr shule and boisali may introduce uh, the speaker please okay thank you sir so uh, we have with us uh, shrimati smita as mure uh, she is the head of akruti technology section at uh, bhaba atomic research center mumbai uh, she completed her be in electrical engineering from vishveshwaraiya national institute of technology nagpur in the year 1984 and then joined the 28th batch of brc training school in brc her first posting was in the control and instrumentation group at uh, nuclear power board where she worked on various reactor control systems for nuclear power plant projects of the departments for last 20 years shrimati mure is working in technology transfers of brc developed technologies in the areas of electronics medical water food processing and agricultural technologies and has evolved modalities in simplifying the technology transfer processes to various industries uh, shrimati mure has evolved mechanism for large scale deployment of brc da technologies in rural sectors called akruti which stands for advanced knowledge and rural technology implementation she was the principal uh, coordinator for akruti akruti and is now heading the akruti technology section in brc uh, she has been uh, also instrumental in framing projects for da technology display and dissemination across the country and has developed a corporate social responsibility program for npcl 
where the akrutis centers have been set up at nuclear power plant slide, uh, sites. She is also a member of uh, BRNS Food Sec Security Committee. Currently, Srimati Mule is uh, uh, also the sub-project coordinator for BRC's project, uh, where they are setting up Akruti centers at other DAE locations. So with this uh, introduction, I welcome uh, uh, Srimati Mule for her lecture. Uh, sh today, she is going to speak on nuclear spin-offs for societal and rural applications, Akruti program, and silage concept. So the floor is uh, US, madam, now. You can start the lecture. Thank you, Dr. Vaishali. I first of all thank uh, Dr. Uh, Sumit Som for uh, giving me an opportunity and inviting me on this occasion. And this is facilitated by Dr. Vaishali Naik and of course uh, proposed my name by Dr. Manjiri Pandey, my uh, friend in BARC. So thanks to all of you. And uh, it is my pleasure to share with you the efforts which uh, Baba Atomic Research Center and Department of Atomic Energy is carrying out in large scale deployment of uh, technologies for inclusive ruler advancement to the technology deployment model. And uh, I am first to begin with, I would, of course, first, uh, I'm grateful to our Secretary Sri K. N. Vyasar, Secretary DA, Chairman Atomic Energy Commission who uh, understanding the vision of this whole program has created a separate section on 28th January 2019 uh, in BARC and given me an opportunity to head it. Uh, and uh, of course, Dr. A.K. Mohanty is a constant source of encouragement to this activity program. My group director, Dr. A.P. A. P. Tiwari, with whose support we are able to uh, progress well in this program. And uh, now coming to this, uh, my presentation, So basically, I would just uh, because it is on the occasion of this uh, International Women's Day, I was just recollecting my experiences in this uh, program because we have been moving to various uh, uh, rural areas of Maharashtra and all over India. First, from beginning. Yeah. 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 So uh, because we are all our DA fraternity, so I need not explain you anything more about the BARC and various advancements the uh, our department has carried out in the field of agriculture, food, water, environment, space, defense, health, medical, any field we name, I'm, uh, I'm sure you all know that we are in that field connected some or other way. So uh, with the, I would like to break the, um, give the presentation in four parts. In first part, I will speak about the Akruti. Then second part is experience sharing by women entrepreneurs of Akruti. We have Dr. Rita Mukhopadhyay with us. And uh, in third part, I will take care of the silage concept and then I will summarize and conclude the presentation. So now, uh, before going ahead, I would like to say that in the scenario of rural women in India, it is the invisible lifeline of rural community. And there are, as you all know, that more than six lakh villages in India, and there are 68, more than 68 percent population still resides in uh, rural India, and the population of literate women in India. It is a good news for us. It's slightly increasing because now the uh, workforce in rural India for a labor job in women is decreasing because girls are getting educated so they go for the sex jobs and so they do not go mainly in the uh, labor jobs in the fields so according to united nations survey india would continue to have largest rural population in the world until 2050 and observation is that many of rural women suffer not only for economic poverty but also from information poverty and I would say this is not only the woman, but in general, the rural population is uh, deprived of the uh, technological information. Not only the technology, but even information of technology is not reaching to them. And why this is so, even though we have so many departments working in India for uh, rural, in, uh, rural advancements, we observed, sitting in BRC, we observed that the rural population is scattered. 
and the number of marginal and landless farmers is more in and only 16% farmers are the having large handhold and uh, these 16% farmers who are progressive farmers they get access to technologies and then farmer to farmer the communication links are very strong therefore we decided that if we really want to do something for rural india we should of course target to the farmer to farmer link we should directly interact with the farmers instead of going through any other government department which are connected to the rural india and this is how this uh, akruti program was coined in brc and the background for this is that it was uh, uh, i was a part of as madam has told i joined technology transfer and collaboration division in 1999 because in after my uh, 20th batch training school when i joined then nuclear power board and that uh, corporation option i did not opt for so i was placed in technology transfer and collaboration division of brc it was headed by dr rb grover then and i was reporting to mr am patankar who was engineer in charge of instrumentation technology and eventually in 2000 he became head of the division of technology transfer and collaboration division and it was his constant desire to do something for uh, it was his constant desire to do something for the rural india and it, that time dr anil kakodkar our uh, honorable director and later on chairman he also was vision had uh, vision that we should have a large scale deployment of all the societal initiatives in those days we have very few technologies in brc they will be in the waste management solid waste management then solar drying then soil testing kits water filter technology purification of water filter so very few were having but they were looking at a large scale spread of all these technologies and how it can happen that was the constant burning desire with us especially with mr m patankar and therefore he was observing that why people are migrating from rural areas to cities was it only the money no it was the not only money but it was the opportunity to work it was access to technology was giving lot of opportunities to work in city areas and then he being head of technology transfer and collaboration division he thought ki why can't i give opportunity to work why can't i give technology to the rural people where they are useful wherever rural resources are available then and there itself the facilities should be set up and that is how this akruti program got evolved in brc it is of course culmination of efforts of various scientists uh, who are already carrying out field trials of their developments with the help of uh, rural uh, ngos so we also want to talk to the sangeeta ma'am madam madam slides are not changing yeah i am not changing the slides uh, one second madam uh, i just in 5 minutes i will uh, hand over the uh, presentation to rita madam because uh, director brc wants to talk to me urgently uh, i got a message right now so i just quickly uh, uh, tell you that there are many technologies developed in brc in the field of agriculture organic farming agro processing preservation healthcare and water you might have heard of these uh, areas this is a pictorial representation of all those uh, various technologies and this is what is a akruti as a node in a village as a typical picture of akruti as a node in a village and the mission of this program is to empower villages with science and technology based eco friendly work plan for sustainable techno economic growth of rural sector because we are scientific organization so we will only look for the science and technology based work plan only and akruti is the word coined where akruti stands for advanced knowledge which is available with all the dae community and its implementation in rural areas so the rural technology implementation that is how akruti word, word, word has come into existence and the working principle for this program is that basically we take initiative for deployment of technologies and resources information and knowledge in rural area as i told you the information of even technology information was not reaching to the farmers forget the technology itself so now through akruti program now we are able to reach to the villagers the working principles for a person who sets up this akruti node in a village will be establish the brc or dai developed technology in rural area demonstrate and facilitate the villagers fabricate assemble deploy in the fields and expand expand to its ability right from kashmir to kanyakumari there is no boundary so everybody who works will contribute and it will earn something so some techno economic activity has to be attached to it so these are the various uh, activities you can see initially we started this akruti program 
with the help of NGO because this was the concept and the concept uh, we wanted to try out. Uh, our, we were told that we will not be given any funding for this because it is if the technology is yours and money is yours, then as soon as the uh, grant is over, the technology will be only lying in a corner. Therefore, uh, Rajiv Gandhi Science and Technology Commission was approached by us and there that their main their, every state has got science and technology commission so in government of maharashtra science and technology commission they approved our project and we selected few ngos in maharashtra and in 2007 to 2012 this program was implemented with the help of these ngos in maharashtra you can see that a proper methodological way mou was signed on 14th march 2007 and then you, we were we gave them the technology document of nisagaruna and solar dryer technology and you can see the effect that all the villagers are now working in villages with their own hands and our scientists were going and only guiding them. The work was carried out by they themselves. So since this was the concept which has to be tried out in a, it cannot be tried out in BRC laboratory. So it has to be in some NGO. And therefore this Akruti, if you want to see what is Akruti, you have to go to some village and see. Of course, after 2012, the funds were over and then the NGOs got some other projects. They still made it sustainable for two, three years. And then we further came out with many more concepts. Now, in 2009, we came out with the entrepreneurship model. We started giving the technologies to the rural entrepreneurs also, but half the cost. That was the idea. So that uh, they give us money, we sign the agreement, give them the document. And now there are 20 technologies in uh, added into this Akuti Tech Pack, what we call it, advertised on the website, Akuti Tech Pack. Presently, there are 115 uh, agreements have been signed by us to all states of India, barring few. And there are, since this is the occasion of rural entrepreneur, these are the list of technologies which are available presently. And since this is the occasion of International Women's Day, I have listed out the, uh, out of 115, at least minimum 17 are the rural entrepreneurs. That's a large number according to me from 2009 to 2000, 2010 to 2022. Who uh, we can see uh, Dr. Rita Mukhopadhyay in yellow sari left uh, top uh, left corner. She is Yogita Bhushan. Then she is Ashwini Aurangabadkar. She is right in the field, as I told you that her cow is not well, so she may not be able to narrate her experiences to us. And these are all in the BRC signing ceremony. She is the vice chancellor of Solapur University in Maharashtra, and she is also very much interested. So I have just gathered some photographs, and now I hand over the. Uh, uh, presentation to Dr. Rita Mukhopadhyay. Rita, please continue. And after you, after I come back, and by the time after you finish, I will take it over again. Uh, please excuse me, sir. I will just attend, see what the director wants to speak. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Dr. Smita. I will uh, try my part of the story. It is a part of a storytelling, and you have already given the prelude to the technologies. So <laughs> the video. Yeah, I will start my video as well and I will also share. Before I share, I would like to say that uh, I would thank uh, Dr. Smita to invite me to this meeting and I thank the hosts. I see the director, Dr. Shom. I see the associate director, Madam Nayak. So we are getting in touch after, say, two years for me because I have superannuated in 2019. And uh, since the time, the story, what I want to unfold in a few slides is about uh, my mindset to give my energy and time to the Akruti, um, which is our ex-employer's domain. So I went up to the BRC technology sites. I knew about these developments and I thought I can make a very small beginning with non-power technologies. And uh, I will now try to share my slide and show you what I have been able to do. And more is always uh, available to do. Uh, knowing about the pandemic, particularly, uh, this was a little difficult, but we are trying. So this is where I go and I go to tab. Yeah, please do tell me that you can see my screen a village set up in Maharashtra. Is this visible to my viewers? Yes. yes. Thank you very much. And uh, so I would like to begin saying that, yes, uh, I took up this program to be able to connect 
and share knowledge with the rural sector. It was our Kruti begins from there and it moves towards the semi-urban areas. So this is a view from a village in the Thane district, 100 kilometers away from Mumbai city. Uh, the jurisdiction allows me to go up to that distance or beyond and not to be in the urban um, setup because that is one of the conditions. I took to two technologies and the next slide tells you that why I went to the non-power technologies is because I want to set it up in the rural sector where energy should not, should not be a limiting and demanding at the same time a factor which would negate itself. So non-power meaning I really have taken to a foldable solar dryer and I have taken up the rapid composting of dry garden waste technologies. There are, as Madam said, plenty of technologies on the site. All of you of the DAE fraternity know about that. You are yourself contributing towards uh, many of these technologies and transfers of technologies. I stuck to only the two as the beginning. And where did I do? I went to West Bengal. I belong to West Bengal. From my professional life, I moved to uh, Mumbai and has many, as uh, like many of us do, we do stay back from the place where we have retired, unlike other friends of mine who have gone back to their places. So I thought I can take my technology back to my places. So I got a friend who is developing a place uh, near in Bankura district in West Bengal. And that is from where I began. And another place where I have taken, again, my technology and I'm trying and interacting with the villagers is in District Thane, as I said, 100 kilometers away. The foldable solar dryer attracted me because it can be kept away when not in use. Village setups may have large fields may have large expanse of open space, but within their homes, their spaces are limited. So if there is a foldable material, a box which can be folded, it can go under the bed and stay there while the rains are on and the sunshine is not enough energy to produce the heat which is required for doing the solar drying uh, technique. Therefore, that attracted me. There are other... Uh, solar dryers available on the net uh, on the technology site and there are some which are power uh, driven technologies of solar drying so i will take you to the next slide which shows that where we begin as a licensee i get the license i got it during the pandemic time uh, online and then only when the pandemic between the two waves i could take a physical license but already I began my work. I had to uh, identify a fabricator. I'm saying this because I'm assuming that there would be uh, listeners to this conference, uh, to this meeting, who are uh, outside the fraternity or are also like me, who may think about uh, giving back to the ex-employer and the society post superannuation. So you have to begin with the fabricator. You have to find a man or a woman who is agreeing to take a challenge because you get what you get in front is an engineering drawing to the precision of the centimeters and millimeters. So I gathered my team of mechanical engineer and uh, a person who can understand those map and drawings. And then we found a fabricator in Bakura Township. And you can see the picture of the laborers working on our engineering designs. And somewhere the perseverance worked. That's what we drive ourselves with. And on the right side, you see that the box was ready. So the box, this was not the painted one. Later, it was painted into black so that the energy is saved up the way it is required to. And I show the picture of two women who took charge of understanding from me how to use this dryer to dry their produce. Here you can see the picture of the tomatoes. And this place is at Murud Dihi, which comes under Moja, Jamdoba, 
Uh, I think the police station is called Chatna and it is in Bakura. From where I fabricated it, it was uh, 33 kilometers away. So all that I took care of. And what are the girls doing after I have left those shores and another pandemic, uh, second wave and a third wave caught us. Caught, we all caught up uh, in those waves. During those times, thankfully the villages were better off with their corona infestations. They could proceed with the work of drying the palash flowers, they call it murut. They could do the chikus, I think these are chikis or something, I, I do not know the name of this uh, fruit, but it's a fruit which is uh, produced in the wilderness a lot and they are drying it for their posterity. And here you can see how the family way the women are organizing to dry the uh, to separate the mush to dry it in the dry with the dry hours they are producing organic color and whatever activity they are engaging themselves in the activity which i have transferred to them we are trying to give them out as a certification so that they feel encouraged their um, cvs get better and this technology uh, driven policy is to empower man, woman, and give them a source of income. So my way is to go the philanthropic way. So I'm taking the technology to them and I'm offering them to then take it up for, by themselves with our support. I will now get to the second technology, and that is the rapid composting of dry garden waste. Composting is a word which is familiar to all of us. And in small or bigger way, we all are responsible to do composting. The first line of composting can begin from your kitchen. And in an average family of four, a household of four, a kg of waste is generated per day. 50% of that, if it is plastics and paper, another 50% is the wet waste. And this wet waste is gold. Is the gold because nature gave us the produce we consumed the produce we generated some uh, wet waste while preparation of those produce and those can go back to the nature again in the form of all the elements it came with if you burnt it i don't need to tell this fraternity if you burnt then 50 percent of those oxidizing elements would be up in the air and we would have to wait to the rains to bring them back to us. But if we composted them, then all of them in their elemental forms remain to fortify the ground on which you would be using it for as a fertilizer or to fortify your um, fields. So this is talking about a fungus. This fungus was isolated at the BARC. My colleagues in the similar molecular biology division is where I worked and they were in the nuclear agriculture and biotechnology division. And this fungus, they took the technology transfer, and that is why it came to me as a licensee. And as a licensee, I took care of propagating it. And you see, this is the powder form of the dried fungus. It has a shelf life of more than six months in room temperature. Therefore, it is easily transportable. It is easily storable. And it is absolutely wonderful full because you can use it for composting the heap you see this heap i produced it from the garden waste during the times of uh, padjar or during the times of the spring season coming in we know how much the nature changes and the nature the deciduous forests just shed and today believe me whenever i'm looking around myself and when i'm on a walk or i'm in a place uh, anywhere i'm visiting my eyes are going towards those dry waste. And from inside, I'm feeling, oh, wish I could start it right here. So this is the chain reaction. If I am motivated, I will be able to motivate another five around me. And those five multiply uh, like the very common word, you know, the polymerase chain reaction, which COVID taught us what it is. We could multiply in a geometric manner if we could motivate each other and share our informations. And thanks to Smita and the hosts, that you all have given me to talk as uh, ex-employee who is a licensee. Yeah, I proudly uh, said that uh, 
before me, no other woman scientist uh, or an ex-employee has taken license of the technology. So I encourage that uh, the others do so, so that we give back to the society what our uh, alma mater had produced. So here is a heap of my garden waste. And here is my fungus. And here is a community activity which I'm organizing so that I can motivate all these young students and my colleagues and other people from semi-urban areas to the rural areas. Let me tell you, it is not very simple that you walk in and everybody welcomes you with an open arm. Uh, there is a lull period where you have to work together to be able to gain a confidence of each other. And I think science gives us that boost. So we are trying to do as best we can. On the right bottom, you can see the heap which I have produced at uh, Thane district. And uh, upper one is what I have done at the Bakura. And I have taught the students and I've taught the tribal women folk what to do and how to do and how to monitor. Because something as a dry leaf would have sat on the ground and took a time of six months to be able to go away from our eyes. One fine day you wake up and you don't see those dry leaves anymore because you did not pay attention all the six months to follow one leaf which is desiccating. But in the rapid composting, you can reduce the time to three months. So people like you in Kolkata and in other metropolis, definitely this is helpful to us because you imagine big trees and they shed, big coconut trees and they shed. Where do you take that heap? You take it to the dumping yard? But before that, if we can do a rapid composting set plant, then we can take the load of this from our dumping grounds and rapidity, the speed of composting gives us the edge that instead of six months of waiting with nature, we can use nature's produce, but with a better capacity, that is the fungus from the technology, and uh, we do it in a faster mode. So here I want to just show you that Going to the rural sector is also about um, creating a bridge. And this bridge happens with interaction. And it's men, women, both. I show you pictures of women on the right who are also at their own fields. They went to the challenge of planting um, paddies. They have, done, they have done agriculture of paddies, which they had never done before. Now they are, this year they are trying, this season they are trying BARC varieties of brown nuts and moong bean, which I have been a licensee, so I could take it to them. And they are taking these challenges to do the agriculture on their own and to grow even new varieties. And that is what we want as a technology transfer people. Here you see myself, i never done this before. Uh, I think in childhood in the garden of uh, our backyards, we have, must have done it with our parents. But here again, I could uh, get the taste of how planting groundnuts could be interesting. Uh, yeah, the sunshine definitely is there, but you can protect yourself. And your interaction and the interactions when they begin with children, I think they can go a very, very long way beyond our times. So here I would like to close by showing you a few pictures of what the technology transfer taking it to the rural sector also gives us an additional benefit of being able to interact with the children interact with the people there share your knowledge you can take a classroom and you can just talk about everything which is around you as science maybe a garden maybe a patio maybe a forest setup but you can keep exchanging all that what we have been backed up with technology and knowledge to this, uh, to the villages wherever you are treading. So not only with knowledge, it's also tradition and culture. So on the right, you can see my friend who offered me that place and I could go with the technology with all the little kiddos who dressed up for a particular uh, traditional program. So all of this also happens on the I would call it in a biologist way, on a bystander manner. So you do something and on the periphery, you also get many other things done, knowingly or unknowingly, through the sheer presence and through the sheer communication. And then I would want to show that the journey from the farm to the table and where the women folk go shoulder to shoulder with the men, more if not less, and that is where I would want to end showing you what I, in a very 
brief time taking the technology through the pandemic not moving out of my house much but have done one or two travels but i have been able to reach to a set of people at bankura and a set of people in my place of stay at the moment which is and i encourage my listeners to think about this and take technologies through the aprati to the sector where there where there can make a difference with this thank you very much for this time and i'm hope i stretched it enough so that i hope smita has come back and i'm ready for any questions if there is any there are any thank you very much okay so i should ha huh, smita is back thank you smita i will now stop sharing have i uh, have i moved my thing from the screen can somebody tell me yes ma'am now yes, yes, yes. not sure thank, thank you very much so yes. i can now listen yeah smita madam to continue Yes, ma'am. We can see your slides, but you are muted, madam. Smita, madam, you are muted. Ah. Um. हेलो यस मैडम यू वी कैन सी द स्लाइड्स आल्सो वी कैन लिसन टू यू प्लीज कंटिन्यू हाँ कैन यू हेयर मी नाउ यस मैडम यू आर ऑडिबल प्लीज कंटिन्यू नहीं सर ये इधर अभी hello so basically like a uh, wonderful talk by dr geeta and uh, experience which she has shared have encouraged our viewers also and uh, regarding the fundamentals on the drive technology the way she has also shared with you it is becoming very popular in other india and uh, i would like to state one example like experience which i have that you uh, see metal madam just sorry to interrupt there is a bit of an echo coming from the phone on the side and you go on the man ata tum mhanta ta kar ni 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 Uh, madam now now you please unmute yourself because there were two computers at your end so now please try not yet not yet you have to unmute now yes yeah now it is okay please please continue mala to presentation to anum gele che vasti number mala to disa ta present kasa hai khali gela to mala to hold is yes, that no is hello yes madam you are clear please continue oh. you are muted madam madam you are muted madam please unmute yourself hello yes now it's okay uh, so uh, one uh, reputed academician visited this akruti nirmiti and then uh, 
looking at the foldable solar dryer which she was enthusiastically using it and making lot of products as you can see the dried products here the uh, professor asked her ki uh, but what is the use of it when it is raining you won't be able to use it na uh, then uh, she was stunned because she was so much used to hear lot of uh, good words about her efforts in using the solar dryer technology but she just waited for a second and asked the professor sir do you have an umbrella in your house he said yes the this from mumbai he said yes i do have an umbrella then she said sir when rainy season is only 3 to 4 months then what do you do with rest of the year then he said i keep it folded in the cupboard he said then sir like this is the solar dryer which is foldable in nature and we also fold it and keep it under the bed only for 2 3 months when it is raining in this place but rest of the 9 months it is giving us income see this kind of answer that literate woman could give to that learned professor that to instantly i think there is no better example than uh, women empowerment by access of use of technology yeah, i know this so there are many many success stories in this uh, program uh, like you can see this old man he is cleaning the water filter of the rc developed technology so it is so easy to clean you can see the soil testing kit carried out by the farmer themselves on the field this is a water filter which requires height so in the village they tried to put the hollow pipes together and the inlet jar was kept up and then they could get the water from here he is a farmer maybe 10th class or 12th but he is a banana farmer and he dreamed that i should get a training in tissue culture so our scientist dr vishwas kulkarni is giving training to farmer in the lab he was not aware about how to use the laboratory glasswares he used to make mistakes and other phd students in the laboratory used to laugh at him but he continued his sincere efforts and then at the end he made 200 test tubes with all banana plantlets and which were then given to him and further he had his own lab now he has become a consultant so this is all empowering the people and capacity building of the rural people by use of the technology so i just wanted to narrate uh, these uh, stories uh, and and now i will go ahead uh, after uh, what rita has let us regarding ms ashwini aurangabad sir she is not able to join us but she is a ca ca in nagpur chartered accountant first first class first she passed she practiced for 15 20 years as a successful chartered accountant in nagpur and now she has turned a farmer she initially started with 4 acre of farm and now she is having 14 acre of farm and she has also used this portable solar dryer technology she got it fabricated she is not an engineer neither in a village there is anybody engineer but from our document dr rita told that we get engineering drawings she managed to make a solar dryer and she is making new products and branded the products with the name rujwa till the just will come some time I that one is the vice chancellor of Solapur University. He is also setting up a community center in a big way, and uh, universities and education institutes are coming in a big way in uh, with the program. So I think uh, technology and education go hand in hand in rural areas. Will definitely change the scenario, and not only the women entrepreneurs in uh, outside the uh, system that uh, as a licensee, but inside BRC and DAE. i am uh, glad to inform you that even at the ai level also uh, many all the people who are working in akruti program are all ladies dr rita miracle when she was in brc she used to uh, the top picture is of shrimati sudha krishnan she was a member finance of atomic energy commission earth and space commission she has gone to this akruti in uh, Pandurpur Taluka in Maharashtra and inaugurated the Akruti. That is way back in 2019. Then uh, she is uh, joint secretary, current joint secretary, uh, Srimati Sushma Taishete, JS R&D. 
she has also visited akruti center in uh, tarapur in under set up in february 2022 recently uh, as i told you that i am no heading akruti program in brc with the confidence mr mayas and dr mohanty has put upon me then i have two team members working simati bharti mandira manisha patil they are also ladies and then not to, we are a small group and not able to cater to the ever expanding scope of the akruti program so there are many other group ladies are now volunteering and helping in uh, coordination of this program dr rishi shrivastava from nrg dr naina from chemistry group dr darshna from biosciences group they are also helping and uh, even uh, all the technologies developed in the akruti program are also developer scientists are also women dr suchandra dr paulomi mukherjee shraddha singh darshna shastar suchita kamre or all our agriculture and food technology division ladies so they are all women scientists so and not only these the administration accounts and store staff who keeps helping us they are also renting so there are total uh, how many rooms 26 women are involved right now at even departmental level i would say so this is truly a women empowerment within the department outside the department in the rural area and dr rita mukobad that has nicely narrated you how it is really helpful to the ruler uh, and how it is enjoyable to work with them so now just coming back to the next concept that akruti is where spreading in this manner but uh, how to cover this 6 lakh villages so this is basically we thought that now technology deployment in villages by akruti model so uh, the technology deployment by akruti model was a set model and <clears throat> reaching to each uh, ngo or a sarpanch or a individual would have been a time consuming task for brc and other di units so what we observed is that how can we deploy the technologies in a faster way and we observed that there are resources like water land vegetable fruit crops health and cattle electricity and human resources and there are uh, many solutions available in the technology form to harness this and you know, augment these resources so in order to uh, increase the speed of this program what we thought of is that let us set up some outreach centers and that is uh, will be the akruti center or rural human and resource development facility so one such uh, facility has been set up uh, till now prc is not giving any funding for trying out all the experiments in the villages so please note that part so this is a college engineering college in a small village it has this facility has come up in पर्टिक्युलर फैसिलिटी इन दैट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज कैंपस अकृति सेंटर बिल्डिंग एंड इन साइड दिस बिल्डिंग दीज आर दैसिलिटीज लाइक water filter making facility soil testing laboratory laser based land leveler which is developed by rr cat uh, indoor food drying facility seeds seeds are the most important uh, thing for the rural areas because prc is developing good quality seed 
and um, more than 50 varieties brc has developed and are ready for commercial cultivation but we are not able to provide the good quality seed to the farmer the farmer who sows his own seed will have to again buy in the next year season the seed and again that is how his uh, expenses for farming are increasing so once he has a seed good quality breeder seed he multiplies it by himself and he shares with other farmers and this facility was again collecting it back from them some percentage of it and distributing to some different set of farmers that is how they covered at least 100 farmers in this region and that too for the groundnut variety issue culture lab was also set up fabrication workshop was already available in the college so that was utilized for this purpose so there are many other facilities happening and plus spread in the further surrounding 35 villages was taken care by setting up akruti nodes in those villages by this college and the technology is deployed in this, uh, this we called it as an outreach center. Uh, we had an MOU with this engineering college and uh, the, the, again no fund were given in 2011 to 2018 MOU was in uh, place and uh, they got the funding from again government of Maharashtra Rajiv Gandhi Science and Technology Commission. So, the technologies deployed are low cost domestic water purifier, soil testing kit, solar dry, foldable solar dryer, laser based land leveling, banana tissue culture, and this agarula and all these things. So, that is how the again uh, set of proven technologies was further modified by this engineering college students as a project, and then the modified products were further deployed in the surrounding villages. So, this is very important thing that once the education institute gets connected then they definitely create the local adaptation. A, a nice example is this, you can see the lower left, uh, lower left side picture. You see there, uh, this whole region of Pandarpur in Maharashtra, which is in uh, Solapur district, that is near Hyderabad and Solapur are three hour train journey. So these are, there is sugarcane belt and there are sugarcane cutting labor are utilized. Right from morning, four o'clock they cut, Chips and four four tons sugarcane they cut. They go from village to village. They are taken from village to village to cut the sugarcane. In the process, they may not get the good drinking water when they are uh, uh, taking a break for uh, uh, their lunch. So this college found out this is the regional problem, and the water filter unit, which was developed by BRC and it was uh, standardized by the commercial utilized by industry licenses of BRC in urban areas that they modified to suit the requirement of these labor. They have made a small backpack size unit and this backpack size unit was carried out. Morning, they will fill the top compartment, they will fill up with water. It may be 10, 12 liter capacity. By six hours, when they take a break, the bottom compartment will have water. It will have a tap to take out the water. And this is how they got good results. They monitored the uh, complete data for these uh, labors for their uh, health uh, related issues, their children and what how is the taste of water they are enjoying. So this is our, this is the classic example when education institute located in village takes up these regional problems using our technology. Then uh, this being the education institute, they have started conducting international conferences at least 15 countries started participating because there is the outreach center of DIE, there is the presence of BRC technology and more than 70 scientists have visited this place in these seven years. The personalities like Dr. Anil Kakodkar and Dr. Chidambaram sir have also visited and uh, this college was termed as a DIE outreach center, this whole uh, facility because they got the in-came facility that time, that is in way back in 2013. They got national knowledge network connectivity of 1 GBPS and that was a novelty in that region. And the college then further surrounding five schools in the villages through Wi-Fi they connected and that is how they made the school children also aware about the power of this high speed network. And IIT Bombay as well as Homi Baba Science Center for Education, they created the knowledge content for the ninth standard syllabus. And archive tablets are distributed and that is how the students were using when one school science teacher is absent the another school uh, teacher will take the class of his class in the same uh, physical school as well as the remote school that is how this uh, facility was worked out and the children really enjoyed that they participated in international conferences of NCAN 
in iit mumbai the first international conference was conducted at iit mumbai by professor khatak the school children in the pandrapur pandrapur village they participated in the quiz and within one or two minutes the answer came back on the screen i was present in that iit that time and the person sitting by my side was a russian fellow and he was struck by this uh, speed of the network and the uh, power of the data which is available so he immediately texted that india's ruler goes global now so there are many such interesting happenings happening in this uh, it will take too long the internship workshop also got conducted for the pandit dinner petroleum university students which the gandhinagar students they enjoyed staying in a village really working on these uh, soil testing kits testing the assembling the water filters sowing the seeds and basic attraction was the high speed network they were getting 1 gbps speed in that village and the whole ambience was very encouraging that is how they uh, enjoyed this then consultancy to the uh, entrepreneurs in this particular place was given through brc you see again dr vishwas kulkarni and this tissue culture lab training is going through brc then uh, the school here they were devoid of any good water purifier facility our water purifier was meant only for home use so this akruti uh, center people the staff they modified it in a parallel and that is how the community water filter now is developed See the solar dryer model is also there. They created a knowledge content in Marathi language for the better understanding of the villagers and the people who were coming for training. And uh, these all efforts were going on in Pandrapur. And using uh, looking at these efforts, uh, then uh, NPCIL under CSR has now agreed to set up Akruti Center in its uh, operating power plant site. And one such center has come in uh, Kakrapara, and you can see our honourable chairman Shri Vyasar has remotely inaugurated last year in 26th March 2021 the Lokarpan Shoda of the Akruti sector, which is set up at Kakrapara, Gujarat under CSR funding. You can see the inside view of the cabins, and the video, complete video, the visual tour is available on this YouTube link. Similarly. In uh, Utkal University, also in Bhuvaneshwar, they have set up the outreach center looking at the Pandrapur model. And Director, Honorable Director Dr. A.K. Mohanty has inaugurated it in April. They have also taken the technologies to 13 districts of Odisha. They had an implementing agency who is uh, running the agribusiness management school. Again, the technologies are using the biogas plant for their uh, hostels, tissue culture, setting a tissue culture lab, making the water filters and uh, solar dryers and many more. Now the Akruti Center Tarapur is presently is a very vibrant center. You can see the Prashma Parishate visiting Akruti Center in Tarapur. The fabrication is going on in the center itself. There are again the rapid biocompost you can see. Soil testing kit is shown to the many visitors are there. Products of solar dryer are in there. So, <laughs> coming to the scope of these Akruti activities, it is a, first we have to establish the facility for operation and maintenance. Training, prepare the training material in the local language. That leads to HR development. <coughs> Try various product development using the Basic technology which DRC or DAE has developed. There's a lot of field work involved in creating awareness amongst the surrounding villages, finding out their existing agricultural practices, finding out the opportunity for intervention of technology in their lifestyle, and then deployment of technology, development of entrepreneurs, demonstration to visitors, and then as RD and various innovations they are taking place at Tarapur also. You can see because of women's day lecture, I have brought all the photographs of various women self-help groups which are visiting the Akruti Center at Tarapur. You can see at least uh, 50, 60 ladies are, are gathering and enthusiastically the staff of Akruti, which is senior, is engaged in explaining them the whole center. There are so many products they are drying, local varieties, that it's a Chiku region. So they are drying Chiku and making powder. 
as i told you ashwini could not uh, talk to us but ashwini has uh, branded her uh, products as a big brand called rujwa brand and she is also drying uh, various uh, whatever she is planting she is drying and preserving it using the ac technology of foldable solar dryer so so and so for we were working on these now i come to the concept of silage so akruti 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 we were setting up in uh, small small pockets i mean not drc will be setting up it is the people who are taking interest we are setting and we were guiding them and once we set up this akruti center in the campus of this education institute that has given a tremendous thrust to this program dr kakodkar and mr patankar they have observed that this presence of education institute and presence of technology and presence of this high speed network is no more a village it becomes a silage silage is like best of city facilities in a village so best of city and best of village in a village is called silage still in city what do we get why do we get attracted we get work opportunity that is because of technology access as i told you and then there are other activities like uh, sports cultural then uh, recreation and facilities medical health tourism so this all as a education institute they have the uh, sports facility library facilities medical facilities presence of education institute presence of uh, technology center uh, this center will have the connectivity with 35 villages around good school education so that is no more a village now it has become a silage that is how the silage word got coined so best of city and best of village create silage from group of villages remember silage will not be in a city it will be in a village only because for pristine healthy work living environment for rural and urban talent and this is the place for creativity and innovations now as we know that because of pandemic we all have experienced that yes the gathering in city the overstuffing of city is something going wrong in the society we must go back to root many migrant labor have gone back to their uh, villages and that to create the work opportunity for those skilled labor which has gone back to their villages akruti and silage they form a good solution it's a tool for creating entrepreneurship opportunities for them now it is not only a dream it is actually happening uh drc again without any funding has tried this experiment at pandrapur but now rajiv gandhi commission is uh, funding to north maharashtra university jalgaon with the tune of 25 crore to create a silage out of 100 villages and it is not only for deployment of technology but it is to create a model which will showcase to the administrative unit called as block development model so how the silage in that area will add to the development of that block so it is a, a silage area based development model carp we call it i am uh, in the various committees of that uh, model i am not my university so silage is is basically the future of india there are many facilities in ar around silage that i have listed here this is mainly to unlock the rural wealth to decentralized entrepreneurship the key is decentralized entrepreneurship so in summary i would say that akruti and silage the concepts which are developed that drc and dai now at dai also many technologies have been added the brit has developed the radio immunoassay kit for cattle breeding rr cat indore has developed the laser based land leveling system there are many health related technologies which are now getting added into this so it is not only a brc program it's a dai program and i'm sure vcc will also find attractive enough to add the technologies into this program so in a summary we can say akruti program has combined the best of city facilities that is plenty of opportunities through technology improved education experience and global linkages and best of village that is healthy environment and social fabric in the sector through induction of all forms of technologies using akruti format to academic institute the i didn't explain you what is the akruti format it's akruti uh, creates a structured network of villages around that akruti node with a truti can force group formation the uh, vrc will interact only with akruti like ritamukopadhyay 
has set up Akruti in West Bengal, but she is staying in Navi Mumbai. So a place near to her is in Nashik region. <coughs> she is now expanding the activity in Nashik also. So that will act like a Krutik center of her Akruti node in West Bengal. And there will be the user groups, they will be called as host groups. So this has nurtured eco-friendly scientific culture in the rural sector. Since the best of cities combined with best of villages in the rural sector, a new name is given to it as Silage. <coughs> to seek the freedom from past biases associated with existing term city and village. What Dr. Kakodkar says is Silage is a new age settlement of the digital society in rural India for empowering people at the base of economic pyramid. So this is the smallest units for dwelling even for the society and that can hold that is how the whole society will evolve with knowledge based society with technology access with all um, environment ecosystem developed for the sports cultural activity and then the total freedom for the person to choose his living as per his choice and that is then we feel a total paradigm shift we are expecting that normally we take the pride in carrying out any social activity as a charitable activity, but please attach a techno-economic social activity, the meaning to it, create some economic activity, intervene some technologies in that activity, and that will build the capacity in villagers, as I have told you certain examples also. So that capacity building in villagers is very important for their livelihood and progress, and progressive for the bottom up model it's a bottom up model progress of everybody which is at the bottom of the pyramid and this will nothing but lead to the utkarsha utkarsha meaning utilization of technologies knowledge and resources for societal harmony i think with this uh, i will come to my end of my talk we all know that dae is uh, full of very good specialized knowledge domain base we are having if we allow to access the villagers to this special domain knowledge base and create this uh, village network all around our DA installation at least. Let us create the DA connected villages and then slowly the model will spread up. Like NPCN is now uh, spending its CSR money to set up the Akruti center. It becomes an industry standard for other PSUs to follow. Slowly, all other PSUs will also start spending money on the setting up Akuti center in the region of interest and slowly it will work like a chain reaction. I'm very hopeful about the fast spread of this program, but it is only with the local participation and support of the department people like you. Thank you to all those who think honestly apply new knowledge for society. Thank you. This, I'm, I'm tempted to show this photograph of JS uh, uh, external relation joint center Jain Fabragade who visited this Akruti in February 2020 and it is because of his initiation this NPCIL CSR Akruti has started. So uh, I am now he is back to the Ministry of External Affairs but he has created a complete system for that and now JS R&D is taking interest to set up Akruti centers at various DA units. In fact, she did mention me that I would like to write to Director VCC. So, hope so, Director VCC finds it interesting. Thank you. Thank you, Smita Madam, uh, for this wonderful and extremely inspiring uh, lecture. And also, thank you, Rita Madam, uh, also for joining us. I'm sure that there are a uh, lot of questions and queries from the audience. Uh, first, uh, uh, Director Saab, would you like to say something? Yeah, actually, uh, I would, first of all, I would thank Madam uh, Shule, Dr. Shule, that uh, this is a very inspiring lecture and also Rita Madam for, for this very nice job they are doing. And I request ma'am to send me the copy, if possible, to copy of this uh, slide what you have shown it sure. will be very helpful for us so yes. uh, in my director at the rate vcc.gov.in you can send it so that is uh, what i wanted to tell and once again i thank you both of you for for uh, giving this very inspiring and uh, 
this technology technical lectures actually it is very popular lecture and you are working with this village rural people that is really appreciable for everybody thank you thank you ma'am thank you sir uh, so are there any questions okay yeah so madam uh, if you do not mind uh, i'll share your email with my colleagues at vcc because um, uh, several of them are very much interested in uh, connecting with you and also on behalf of uh, our director and vcc i would like to extend you an invitation also to visit vcc if possible and uh, share your experiences further and same goes for data madam also so yeah and and most of our most of our colleagues are actually watching this through youtube so that is why they are unable to ask you questions actually okay so no if you can come if you can if you can come to vcc physically then probably they will be able to ask questions uh, yeah my pleasure sir my pleasure because we have to go to northeast sometime yeah yeah then then you can, you can couple those visits with the vcc also sure or i may specifically come for vcc go issues yes 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 so thank you so um, uh, sir with your permission then we are closing yes. this uh, yes, this yes. program now yeah, and please. once again, thank you to all the both the speakers and everyone who has attended to this. Yeah, thank thanks. you. Thank you. Thank you for giving us opportunity to speak to all of you and uh, arranging this uh, lecture. I'm really uh, thankful to you all. Of you. Bye. Thank Namaste. you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste.